Hello my friends, I'm here in the shop when we're making some new marker bodies like this one which is a pyrococker. But it's a pretty cool process and so I wanted to turn the camera on to show uh, a little bit more conclusively how these go from start to finish. I have right in front of me a block of metal. This is how they started a couple weeks ago and it goes all the way to something like this which is a completely finished autococker body. So I'm going to try to keep this as brief as I can because I know you came here to see cutting and not talking, but uh, hopefully this will be able to answer a little bit of questions that I get on a recurring basis as to how these uh, items are actually produced because we do them all internally 100% from a chunk of metal to a finished body. So speaking of an autococker body in particular, they begin their life like this. It's an extruded piece of aluminum that is uh, 7.9 inches in length from end to end. I put that in the machine and we cut basically all the bottom features, including a nice smooth surface, serial numbers, engravings, and all that. And then we also create the main bore at the same time. And that brings us to today. This is what you're gonna be seeing uh, in the machine shortly. Uh, this, is, this is a fully functional autococker body, except with no cosmetics, obviously. It has the feed neck on top, it has the detents, it has the pump slot, for the pump arm, it has the adjustment hole for the sear lug. So you could use this out on the field if you wanted to, but it'd be pretty heavy and ugly. <laughs> so I install these into the machine using what I call a standoff, which is essentially this uh, chunk of metal that you see bolted onto the bottom. Right, so remember I said the very first thing that happened was I cut all of the bottom features. Well, there's a reason for that, because they're used all the way through the process, including this final activity here. This standoff here will be mounted into the machine, and it will allow the body to be tipped forward and back into the top, and it'll access all of the outside features to cut everything you need to make a functional marker. Then when that's completed, I take a pre-manufactured back block. This, uh, that's actually the front block. Front block slides on back block like that slides on and then all of these components are machined simultaneously in the body and that makes it uh, a seamless process where the cosmetics are carried directly across the entire item tighten like that the manufacturing process for creating the features on the side and the top is identical from any marker body that I make so that was an autococker body, but as you can see right here, this is an auto mag unibody that we make, which again has the bottom features all cut into it, and then you can see the detent holes and then the feed neck hole on top. So this is a functional auto mag, except with no cosmetics, right? Here's another one. This is an Axe body, actually an Axe Pro body. There's all the good stuff on the bottom. Main board is already created. This one doesn't have the outside. Uh, detents and all that stuff cut into it because we haven't finished it, but you get the idea. The same machine and the same process that's used to create any of these bodies uh, can be used to create anything else as long as it uses the same setup. When it's completed, you end up with one of these. This is the mid block version, so it only has the front block attached, there's no back block. The bolt just gets carried off, and there's a little slot in the middle which is where the sled is in this particular body so this is finished uh, there's a little bit of cleanup we have to do to smooth some of the edges and then we also do honing on the inside to deburr the internal bores but uh, this is basically ready to go off and be anodized and that looks like this when it's done this is a uh, full body with no, no uh, front block or back block but you can see it is uh, completely done ready to be used uh, black gloss anno. So at this point I'm going to turn it over to the footage I have inside the machine and you'll see some of the cutting take place. Hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to speed it all up so it doesn't take forever to uh, go through the entire machining process. But uh, let me know if you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you back. Thanks.